Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X, looking at Chinese drama land in the past week, and let's get right into it. As usual, first let's talk about dramas that have gone live. On December the 7th, we've had a 26 episodes contemporary romantic drama going live on the platform Tencent. It is called Lian Lian Hong Chen, Got a Crush on You, and it's led by Na Zha and Xu Kai Cheng. It is a drama that if nothing special happened, I probably wouldn't bother checking out. Because right now, I don't really need a contemporary romantic drama, and frankly speaking, second, I have zero uh, confidence in the acting ability of the two leads. One day after that, on the 8th, we have two dramas going live, literally today, as I'm filming. First is on Aichi, there is another Aichi, Fen Zhang Ju. Meaning Aichi doesn't really put any effort in promoting it, it just hosts the drama, and if the drama does well, it will split the profit with the platform. For all the subscribers of Aichi, the drama goes live in one go, all the episodes available on the first day. It is a crime investigation drama called Xiong An Shen Chu, The Truth 2. So there must be a truth. One, although I am very unfamiliar with this IP, it is led by Liu Yitong and Ma Sichao. Liu Yitong has played many roles recently in many dramas, being the son of Liu Yijun, and Ma Sichao has also played quite a few lead or second lead roles in recent couple of years contemporary romantic drama. So if you are somebody who is interested in these two leads or this type of drama in general, note that it's completely available from now on on Aixi's website for all these subscribers. The other one that went live on the 8th goes live on the platform Tencent, and it is called 斗破苍穹, 少年归来, Battle Through the Heaven, the IP that has been made into various things in the past. And this version of story is led by He Luo Luo and Ding Xiaoying. A lot of lights and explosion and things that does not exist in real life. If that's your cup of tea, this drama is also available for you to check out. Next, on the coming Monday, 11th, we have finally a probably most of my audience is now and probably want to take a look fantasy paper drama going live on the platform Tencent, Shen Yin, The Last Immortal, led by Wang Yu and Zhao Lu Si. See, end of the year, everybody is trying to catch on the last let's get the KPI train before the end of the year bonus gets delivered. Not the genre that I really care for much these days, but since it is definitely gonna have a lot of fan interaction, I will take a look at it when it airs and see if it's anything worth watching. A couple of days after that, on the 14th, the Realment will go live on Youku. We've just talked about that last week. A drama based on Priest's novel, led by Liu Haotun and Lin Yi. Until it actually airs, it's hard to gauge whether it's a good enough story. And since the title is called Derailment, I guess like if it doesn't work out, then at least you can blame it on misfortune of naming things. And Yoku has the tradition of not knowing what they're doing. <laughs> These are the dramas that have confirmed date by Friday the 8th when I sit down making this video. Now let's move on to trailers and stuff that may come out very, very soon. During this week, a couple of quite anticipated dramas have released their new trailer. Number one, Zai Bao Xue Shifen. I've talked about this project too many times, recently got its license amidst a snowstorm of love, led by Zhao Jingmai and Wu Lei. Something that I'm very familiar with, you know, living in Winnipeg. This is on the other side of the planet, but Finland. Very familiar blizzards on camera looking quite uh, pretty. And the trailer does contain things that does not exist in China, but definitely it exists outside China, such as a laundry shop. I never actually thought that's an interesting place for people to hook up, but now when I look at Zhao Jingmai and Wu Lei eyeing each other while waiting for the laundry to be done, it's actually a really perfect place. In a way, even better than coffee shop. <laughs> So I cannot wait to see this drama. Let's hope during winter it can go live. We also have a very conceptual, does not tell you really anything, and just give you a feel, short trailer of the fantasy period drama Wu Geng Ji, released this week, led by Ren Jialun and Xing Fei. English title is Burning Flame. The whole trailer is slow motion, fully, of male lead walking through snow and looking at female lead dancing. That's it. So you can't really tell right, what the story is about. It just gives you a taste of the visuals and styles. And because it comes out around the jie qi, the 24 seasonal things in traditional Chinese culture, and it comes out on the day of big snow, da xue. So I guess that's like really fitting. Talking about Big Snow, another drama has released a very early kind of trailer, but not really, just an idea again of what the drama looks like. That would be the right now still filming period wuxia drama, Qie Xue, Seven Nights of Snow, 
from ITE led by Zeng Shunxi and Li Qing. I've recently just showed you the really impressive posters they have. Snow-covered mountains where they went to film the drama. And this week they've released the video footage of basically those shots. You would not know the plot. You would just see them in snow, riding horses, fighting, looking really pretty with all the natural reflectors in nature <laughs> with the white snow. And it's still a long way to go before they can even say wrap. We will definitely have to wait till 2024 to see the finished product of this drama. Also during this week, not necessarily a trailer, but more like a wrapping up special feature video for the period fantasy drama project. Huyao Xiao Hongyang, Zhu Ye Pian, the Liu Shishi and Zhang Yunlong led second chapter of Fox Matchmaker. They've released its first proper trailer featuring the styles, the looks, the fighting sequences. I am really intrigued by the styling actually of Zhang Yunlong's white hair. Like he has multiple stages of from black hair to like gray and mixed hair to like pure white. So that, that would be interesting to look at. And then Liu Shishi fights very well as she always does. She can twist and turn a somersault in air. That shows you she's got some abs and some very strong core. And her green colored overall clothing and styling looks really good on her. So cannot wait for that drama. But first, can we just see the red version of Yang Mi and Gong Jun? <laughs> Been waiting for more than a year and um, still it hasn't aired. Come on. I've heard rumors because they use that surrounding screen uh, 3D projection for this drama a lot and it actually has technical difficulties because it's a new techniques that they're using so that's slowing down the post-production. That just makes me even more curious about the end result of how that's gonna actually turn out because if it works out well. I'm not gonna tell you now but maybe personally I can get to see it in work Moving on to the next item. We have a drama during this week that has gotten its license and can air anytime. When it airs, it will go live on Youku. Hua Jianling in Blossom, a period drama led by Liu Xueyi and Ju Jingyi. Not so long ago, I remember I talked about this drama being filmed and already it's gotten its license. So Youku may check it out sooner than you think. Then during this week, we have two dramas, two contemporary dramas that have started shooting pretty much on the same day. Both of them are from Tencent. The first one, is called Woman Yu Fa Ting De Juli Hold a Court Now. So the title just tells you it's about legal stuff. It's a crime related contemporary drama that mostly features the court workers. And it's gonna be led by Gong Jun and Ren Ming. The other Tencent contemporary drama is a romantic sci-fi contemporary drama. Yes, Lu Jiu Filter. It's led by Tan Jian Si and Li Lan Di. Both projects sound interesting enough to me and I will definitely keep an eye out. And honestly speaking, I'm a little bit more intrigued about the uh, sci-fi one because contemporary romantic sci-fi is just not something that happens very commonly in Chinese drama land. Then last week, I've also mentioned that we're at the end of the year now, so we're gonna get a lot of ceremonies, awards and stuff. You know, this week we've got two back to back. First one is the Weibo one annually at the end of the year. The other one is the GQ event. This time they used boats. So all the guests coming to uh, this event on boats, a lot of great photos have come out of this event. And because of Creation of Gods getting really popular during summer this year in Filmland, Fei Xiang came to this event as well. And he's dressed so much like a mafia boss that there's this shot on China's internet of him on the boat. Everybody is joking that it's so does not look like a film star is coming to an event. It's looking more like somebody is coming to buy GQ off. I have to agree, that's a very accurate description. So we have a lot of new photos of good looking people in good looking clothing. Red carpet generally in China is still pretty interesting in Asia at least compared to say <laughs> South Korea where everybody is just so proper and always in black. We still have 10 cents even to go towards the later part. Let's see what's gonna happen then. Finally to wrap up today's video, just before I sat down I noticed that Black Myth Wukong has released a new video announcing that the game is coming out August the 20th next year. It's gonna happen in pretty much a bit more than eight months time. With this announcement of the gaming release date, they put out a new video definitely showing you more bosses 
the game, fightings and animation sequences, and a lot of references to Buddhism, to Chinese literature. That's actually not from Journey to the West, but from Hong Long Meng, which is very surprising, but expected. The opening of this new video is a very famous poem from Hong Long Meng that is um, one of the uh, epically wise observation of human conditions that that book has. I probably wouldn't really make video on that, but I'm just really pleased to see that it is happening. Although I don't even own a TV, so technically even when that game comes out, I would not be able to play it. It will be interesting to see how it gets received globally. In China, it definitely is going to cause some buzz, but globally, right, how well it's going to perform. I'm just going to be an observer from the very outside of the game world and hoping to see something interesting happening in the coming summer. That should be the end of this video. Thank you for watching Up New X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.